Hey, are you? We're into Shikari, you're watching Finger TV. Hello. We are taking back Sunday. I met and uh, we just wanted to say hello and you're watching Finger Finger TV. What's up, you guys? This is Ali from Zebrahead and you're about to get Finger. Finger TV. Hello. Welcome to Finger TV. Oh, never thought I heard myself say that again. How long has it been now? I think it's been at least four years. It was back when the SNES Mini was released and Tom Holland was revealed as Spider-Man. Yep, but it is, we are back now. Um, here with Badjo and myself, um, Daddy C, because I've had to change my name because of political reasons <laughs> nowadays. People get offended by anything, so I can't really use my name anymore for those who knew my old name. Yeah. But then again, some people still believe in Santa Claus, so... Finger TV was um, a victim of cancel culture, and they tried to cancel us out, but we are back. But yeah, 2020 and the whole pandemic's brought um, many crazy things upon us, such as Tiger Woods um, crashing his car again, and also the return of Finger TV. Yeah. We're without our third member, but I'm sure you guys don't miss him. Anyways, we have dug out our old vintage Pokemon cards collection yeah. here. It's um, the 25th anniversary this year. Yeah. And um, I'm not sure. That would probably be the Japanese anniversary, right? Because mm. they probably had it the year before. Yeah, most likely. But this um, collection here is uh, the old, wiz our old childhood cards from... Yep. Yeah, so I think they consist of base set, jungle set, base set two, and fossils. And we might have a few occasional uh, newer cards thrown in there. Yeah, mostly the McDonald's cards and the Detective Pikachu movie cards. Yeah, because of, um, what's that geezer's name? Logan Paul? Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of brought this whole thing where pro Pokemon cards are like, whoa, crazy at the moment, prices. So maybe we'll have some gems in here. Um, don't get your hopes up. Right. <laughs> Spoilers alert. Uh, what's your story regarding your cards? I'm sure everyone's got a story regarding this. Um, I started with the... There was two base packs, right? Yep. Um, so I had the... Would it have been a blue one? Or were they all blue? <laughs> They're all blue. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I had the one that came with chump. My chump. <laughs> my chump. <laughs> He's a chump yeah. to me. Yeah. <laughs> Like, no one wanted that card, so he's a chump. Yeah, but... Um, <laughs> the people's chump. Yeah, so... My, my cards, I remember... I, I was a big collector back at school and stuff. Um, I had quite a... Some rares, shinies, loads of Japanese cards. Put them all in a folder, highly valued them. And then... I... Well, I didn't fall in love. I had the mad crush on the girl. So I thought I'd give her all my Pokemon cards to impress her. And to my surprise, she gave them all to a guy she liked. And yeah, I was crying for like a week straight. But That was, that was simping before it was even a word. Exactly. Finger TV invented simping, that, uh, guys. Remember that. But we've gone from simps to pimps now. So. Yep. And hopefully we'll be pimping when you, we see all these cards in here. We'll sell them. Um... Yeah, well, we really want to get a PS5 at the moment, as they're like impossible to get. So we can do some PS5 gameplay on uh, Finger TV. Hopefully, some of these ca I'm no good at valuing cards. You guys are probably better than us. Um, I say none of them are in perfect condition, but I'm sure we'll get a few thousand out of these. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah. The if, price is going up every day. So. If anyone's interested in um, buying any, just drop us a comment or send us a message. Uh, we do trades as well. So let's go through Baggio's old collection. Okay, so warning, this collection will not be as good as the uh, later half of the video. Oh! Uh, we'll see so, what we've got. So we've got the old Pikachus, and you got this Ashes Pikachu. That's a newer card, ain't yep, it? that came from I Choose You Pikachu. Oh, the, the movie, which the remake. Which 2016, yeah. maybe? And then we've got the Detective Pikachu. What's the difference? That one's got a logo so, on. So, um... One of them came from the cinema, and one of them came from the Blu-ray DVD release. Yeah. 
I'm not sure which was which, but uh, that's the story behind those. Although I think if you bought the booster packs from your local store, uh, I think they contained four cards each. Uh, one of those would be a <clears throat> a different image of Pikachu. Okay. Uh, where he's looking sideways. Is one rarer than the other or not? I'm going to guess more people probably bought the DVD and Blu-ray than the cinema release. Yeah, but that's the original base set one, ain't it? Oh, I thought you meant out of those two. Yeah, yeah, I was talking um, about them, but I mean this one. This one's the original base set one, I think, from yeah. the originals. Yeah, so that's Jungle set, if I remember correctly. I think, really, that one's probably the rarest, because who actually went to the cinema to see that? Yeah, true. But then again, I don't think people are after the newer cards. Like, mm. that's probably at least worth, what, £20, I'd say? Mm. It, it, like... I think it's the Pikachu and the starter Pokemon's original starters, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander, isn't it? And yeah, Sing they're worth the most money. Yeah, and yeah. obviously, the most sort of after card is um, Charizard, but unlikely uh, we've even got one in this collection. I <laughs> definitely remember I had Charizard when I was younger, but I think I gave it to that girl who then gave it to um, another eBay. guy. Yeah. <laughs> you might as well call him eBay. <laughs> like, Okay, so we've got... Oh, um, so we've got the Shinies now. Just three. Oh, there no. was a... Uh, it was first edition. Mach... Mach... Ma- 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 <laughs> is that his name? Machomp. Chomp. Machomp. Ma- Machomp. Uh, yeah. If you get him from the uh, Happy Meal version, it's Machomp. Yeah, like McDonald's and Machomp. And so we've got Nine Tails, Wiggly Top, uh, three... Um, so I've always called them shinies, but I, I've been told the correct term is hollows. Okay. So yeah, there's three hollows here. So um, I think that one came from. Uh, is it a base? Yes, booster? I think that one was from a base deck. Okay, so those yeah, two. That one's from a base deck. Um, so that was the that's the jungle one. set, and uh, Machomp. Ma- Ma- um, I believe you can only get him in first edition. There's n- no <laughs> regular versions. So people who think like first edition is rare, I think if you get one without the first edition, it's themselves. probably rarer. Yeah. yeah. But so I think I I only got two of these cards when I went to the cinema as a child. Yeah. So one of these must have been for a swap. Yeah. So they're the from the Pokemon First movie that everyone went to see. So these cards, I believe, are a lot more common than people think. So people are selling them for ridiculous prices, but I don't believe they are very rare. Um, yeah, I remember when I went to that film, We, me and my friends, we'd just go up to the person at the desk selling the tickets, can I have some Pokemon cards? And they'd give us a pack. And yeah, we had doubles of all of them. Uh, they're probably with um, that guy now. <laughs> but yeah, we, we'll call him he, eBay. Do you think he kept them? Or? Oh, he better have. <laughs> he better have valued my cards. If not, I'd go after his ass. Yeah. His ass. Um, but, so I think I bought two packs of Team Rocket at most. Yeah. yeah. So now we've got the Dark Rocket series. So we've got Dark Rapidish. No, what's it? Rapdash and Electro. Oh, Gyarados. That's a rare, I believe. Yeah, it's got the little star, which means it's a rare. But that's the non-shiny version. I think you can get that in shiny. <sighs> yep. Oh. Uh, that's a disappointment. Isn't exactly. it? Beggars can't be choosers, but we could probably at least get a hundred pounds for that. Uh, I was hoping for two. <laughs> yeah. Thinking about these dark series, I love the artwork on them. Like yeah. these are Raticate and I, I, it's weird. Like, is it a different design? Crew well, um, or, like, artists, in the know? corner of every card, it says the illustrator's name. Okay. And uh, yeah, the base set ones looked very bland. The jungle set, they look more cartoony, sort of, like, child-friendly. Um, but, yeah, the rocket sets look very badass. Yeah, I remember, like, before I bought the packs, certain people had them before me. And I just remember, like, wow, the artwork is, like, mm. a huge upgrade. But, yeah, I think we've got a couple of hundred pounds here already. We're almost halfway to our PS5. Yeah, if not, we could at least get a few PS3s some, <laughs> somewhere. Yep. Um... Oh, there's the big boy himself, Charmeleon. He evolves okay. from Charmander and turns into the one and only Charizard. Uh, yeah. And then we've got um, Machop. 
Uh, ma- ma- macho. Is he a first edition? Yeah, unfortunately, no. Oh. Yeah. Then we've got um, Cadabra. Cab- Cab- okay, so I don't have. Oh, Abra would have been. Yeah, uh, would turn into bases. him. Right. And then we've got the Haunter. Because this design here looks like it would be a Team Rocket one. Just the way it's yeah, drawn. and I always thought that was fake. And when I was younger, because yeah, of the so cartoon, basic. yeah, like it is a basic card, but it's, the design is so basic. But yeah, these are the original Wizards of the Coast ones, very like vintage, as they call it. And and as you said, they are slightly thicker than the evolution. Yeah, the cards. the new cards they just feel um f- flimsy. They re-released these after in the evolution series, and yeah, they were just not worth it. So um, we've got a few rares here. He's a rare. Okay. He drill. Victory Bell. Is Butterfree a rare? No, mm. no, that's uncommon. Yeah. I think, um, like I was saying to you before we filmed the video, uh, I don't think people cared about the, the green cards so much. Mm. I think it's just because they, they all have a similar... It's not like, yeah, because... Um, there's nothing... Um, distinctive about them obviously we're not professionals on pricing and like uh, con- all I know is they need to be good condition and um, they need to be graded for it to be worth any money so you send it off to some company and they grade it or something like that but yeah I don't think we've got any cards valuable enough to get graded anyways <laughs> mm. so I have a saw um... we've got a few more rares here a Snorlax That's... he's definitely a rare um, Pidgeotto he's a rare yeah. um Oh, uh, you no, it's Dragonair that's a sort of rare. There's the Drag Tinies. Uh, oh, you've got Ivysaur, who mm-hmm. turns into Venusaur. E- Electrode, he's a rare. Yeah. Okay. Like, by looking at him, I wouldn't think he was part of the originals. He looks like a dark card, the way the art's. I always thought it was like Jungle or something. I never <laughs> knew he was part of Base Set. But yeah, and then obviously you had. Oh, you've got the Dragonair there. He's rare, but that's base set two, ain't it? That's a re release. Yeah. So the original was base set one, and then you had the re release, which. <sighs> well, um, looks like we're going to get a PS4 at the moment. Yeah. But did you also know um, there's like uh, these UK exclusive ones? They, I think they were only printed in the UK. <laughs> okay. So if you look at the years here, it's the base sets, they say 1999 Wizards. There was a fourth print that went, say, 1999 to 2000. And they're probably not worth much more, but yeah, just a fun fact. Sounds like they'd be worth less. Yeah, because it was the final print. Because, I mean, I've never actually spotted any Pokemon in the UK. I've just heard that they're in America and Japan. Mm. Um, yeah, we didn't have much in the UK. That's why most of the cards, like, back in the playground, people used to get them imported somehow. I remember we had all the <laughs> Japanese cards, and most of them were fake. Yeah, apparently there was like a bit of a shortage over here for a while. So mm-hmm. importing was the way to go because they those markets were flooded with the cards. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you got Bulbasaur there. He's probably worth tenner. Oh. Yeah, about ten pounds there. Well, and ten ten dollars if you're watching elsewhere. No, it will convert pounds to dollars. I think pounds slightly more, ain't it? But yeah, we've got the Rocket Squirtle too. Um, that's I think the base set Squirtle might be worth. More, but I, I like I said I prefer the artwork it's, it's just night and day difference I but think. yeah I just feel this is just a big blast of nostalgia though isn't it it's just like childhood all coming back to us so so far would you say this collection is as good as you was expecting mine to be um so I'd say we're on our, the road to a PS3 <laughs> <laughs> yeah and I mean if I can't afford any games and I've at least got my PS Plus games for a few months yeah exactly (laughs) yeah but I don't know if we would have enough for the PS Plus membership (laughs) yeah but nothing to we have to start an OnlyFans account (laughs) yeah Finger TV on OnlyFans you've heard it first Uh, and uh, so um, and this is pretty much it so you've got Um, the rockets and yeah, it's, uh, the it's, it's sad that we're coming to the end now. 
of my collection at least. Yeah. Um, and then we'll jump to mine, which I haven't touched in a few years. Um, I organised mine like a couple of years ago, um, mm -hmm. but I've totally forgotten what's in my collection now, so it'll be a good surprise. Do you think we might find some like Digimon inside there as well? Uh, Did you ever buy those? Or? I think I had more Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay. But yeah, so these are quite rare actually. That's a rare, that's a rare, that's a rare. Whoa. That's a rare. So yeah. Do you think this is because people just thought, oh, they're trainer cards, I don't want them. Yeah. But the most disappointing was because um, when you open the booster pack, they have one rare in each pack and yeah. everyone wants the shiny. But sometimes you might get like a trainer rare mm. instead of a shiny. And that was the biggest disappointment ever. Okay, so some of these are phase two. Yeah, because so many times I've begged my parents to buy me a booster pack when I opened it and I'd get like a computer search and then I was just like, <laughs> what a waste of money. Right, oh, but so... we've got the, Bur not Burger King, what, what's yeah, his? McDonald's, yeah. Yeah, or McDonald's. Yeah, and we've got the Hollows. They're probably worth quite a lot, do you reckon? Yeah, I thought that they were all. They probably are. But um, yeah. according to your anything. collection, that isn't always the case for McDonald's. So um, I'm guessing they were from McDonald's, but I don't know. Okay. I had the... Yeah. Um, so as far as I know in the UK, in the last few years, as of this video, 2021, there's been a few releases at McDonald's. And these are from Detective Pikachu, about, ain't it? Uh, yeah, the movie cards, um, apart from this one in the corner here. But um, those are the commons. Apparently that is the whole set of commons, if you include um, Pikachu as well, which was on the first page of the video. Yeah. Um, but on these McDonald's ones, if you look at the bottom, I think there is about 12 on that series and... Yeah, it seems every time they do a McDonald's release, there are 12 cards. So, <clears throat> that would mean there are 24, I think. So, there could be more, but as, as long as we've been following which is about five years, maybe. But maybe they were doing it prior to that. So, that is not an original folder, as most people would know. That is, I think this one's been out about five years. Uh, you can get that on Amazon. Smith's Toy Store or wherever. So we can't sell this for £100 or something? Um, you know, the price will go up and up, so maybe... Yeah. When the maybe BS... in 2030. Yeah, but this is um, my the box here. We'll show you some stuff from my collection. We've got um, this Team Rocket box. Is but, that official? Uh, no, I believe um, I got it from Poundland over here. For, in, you Americans might know it as the dollar store. But, um, well, I think that that would mean it's still official. Yeah, we've got a po <laughs> Pokedex. It's not a rare Pokedex. <laughs> we've got a Pokedex, um, which don't work, unfortunately. I think it's got no batteries or the batteries are dead. But yeah, this was um, from my childhood. So... I used to um, go around the streets going like that, thinking I could find Pokemon. But now we've got Pokemon Go. So... Oh, it's, it's in good condition, so... Yeah. Be, um... So, anyone wants to trade this for um, a PS5? I'm open for offers. But, uh... Well, I think if, if you can get that working with fresh batteries, then... Yeah, uh... yeah so, um, let's jump into this. Oh, I haven't opened this in... I think there's going to be a huge stench. Yeah, oh, a huge it's... stench of nostalgia. <laughs> I was going to say this. Yeah. Yes. But... Yes. <laughs> But yeah, let's do it together. I'm Ready? scared. Is there a dead animal in here? <laughs> this is, uh, you said that when you was a child, you had a pet budgie. Yeah, he might be inside here. He... <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Stephen Gerrard. <laughs> what, what cartoon is that? Oh my God. I remember oh. that must have come out in about 2005 ish. Oh, oh, oh my god, he's, he's, he's got a bloody Nazi symbol drawn He's got a, the Nazi symbol drawn <laughs> He plays with Liverpool, so. Um, right, so I think this movie was called Robots. Yeah. I could be wrong. He looks a bit like um, Mr. Mine. Yeah. I think that is where you maybe got them mixed up. But, so, oh, well, what have we got here? The smallest cards. So we've I got know. Gary. Get me. Yeah. 
I Gary. I love Gary. Yeah, and we've got um, Ray. We've got Spencer. And we've got um, Dr Dress Dressel. Yeah. Oh, it's Max. And, and where uh, did these originate from? They are not from Pokemon. I believe they're from Beyblades. That's it. Do you remember Beyblades? Okay. Yeah. I believe they were from the cartoon, Beyblades. And Rayblade. Yeah. So we've got um, Pokeball here. And oh, what's, what's this? Um, so um, what's that? Oh, that Sick is the... Is that Tops card? Might... I think this might be a sticker. Yeah, it's a sticker. Oh. Well, okay. that's probably worth £200. I think we should put that in the top of Gerard. Yeah. And what have we got here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. These are fake as well. These are, are you sure? That one's. I don't think. That... Yeah, yeah, they are a fake. Are you sure you just didn't cut them off? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell does that say? Pokemon what? Far 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 fetched. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. But... <laughs> what the hell? That was probably like two hundred pounds I cut up, and um, oh, we we have got Digimon. So uh, we know that we do have some Digimon fans on our on our channel because we did a review of the uh, what were they called? Um, oh, the Digivices. Yeah, I remember yeah, them. That was one of our most viewed yeah. and commented videos. So um, yeah. this is a you know for those people out there. Yeah, you guys didn't come to see these, so they'll sit at the side there. Okay. Right. Um, so you covered all the uh, competition anyway. Yeah. And then what we got here, we got. Wait, let's. Uh, these are the tops cards, I think. And um, oh, these are the Burger King ones. Wow. You remember these Burger King cards? You had a lot of meals. Yeah. No, they used <laughs> to give it to you in big piles. It was like about ten now uh, every Still like kids' meal. Yeah. But Please yeah. Take look, them. Wow. These are like. So, do you think Pikachu? Spares or like Spares? Yeah. You, you tell me. Look. Wow! 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 Uh -huh. So there probably wasn't that many in the. Whole and book. they, ha I think they have different Pokemon's at the back. Yeah, you have got the Caterpie, the Dragonite, Moltres, Omiyak, Tauros. Yeah. So uh, I don't remember those. But... Guys, we can do it. We're on the road to the PS5. Oh, these were what you were talking about. Wow. Uh, oh, what the... It's, um, Polly... What's his name? Polly Well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, it's the KFC... Not KFC, um, Burger King. It's weird that you've got three of them. Yeah. Because they were not cheap as far as I know. Yeah, it's like, um, how many carat gold, isn't it? Is So you were saying that people weigh their Pokemon packs. Um, that is quite a lot of wage there. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, we've got the Tops uh, trading cards here. We've got quite a. Do you have Simon Gerard in that pack, though? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is more underneath. <laughs> so we got Jesse. And then we've got the War Turtle, Meowth, uh, Professor Oak. Oh, we've got the Shinies here. A shiny Pikachu. Oh. That's probably £100 right there. Misty. And um, we've got like. Are these still top shading cards, I think? They must be the, like movie ones or something. Wow. Yeah, if, if anyone wants to trade with us, please let us know. We're yeah. on the road to that PS5, so we can start doing PS5 Isn't that gameplay the one you for you. Said was a sticker. Oh yes, Where, where's it gone? Um, um, did I throw that one? No, I put it here. Yeah. Oh yes, look, it yeah, is. And it's smaller. Am yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, we'll probably uh, after the video's filmed, we'll uh, look, look those cards up and find out the actual reason for it. So I think, really, although there's not going to be as much demand for those, I think. 
I say we need to like take a look at this tin. There will be there will be someone that <laughs> <laughs> So who are these guys? We've got Lee Car Carsley. This is around 2005-ish, 2006, yeah. I would say. Yeah. Because Crespo, he was part of the uh, Mourinho era. Is that Sol Campbell? Who's he? That is my dad. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like the guy from Ready Steady Cook. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I don't know why I've got a little present stuck there. Give me a good rub. So... We've got Pokeball, Professor Oak, Potion. Well, I, th I think these might just be like the trash pile with trainers and energies. Uh, that's disappointing. I yeah, look. Let's just recycle these. We've got Brock's training method. Recycle. Mm, I think that's valuable paper. So, though. anyone wants to swap some energies or wow. want to trade us a PS5? We'll, we'll take the Xbox uh, Series X as well, but Series, what's it called? Series S? S. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Beggars can't be cheap. Yeah. But that's this tin for you. Um, so so uh, we've got quite a few good cards in there. I would say if I had to value, like estimated value of that yeah. tin, I would say, um, I think it's got to be worth 50 pounds maybe. Yeah. Especially, like, say if you was to open the stall at um, the next Comic Con when, you know, the world's back to normal, you could in individually grade these. But, like, yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't find my pet hamster in there, so that's a bit of a disappointment. He's got me somewhere. We'll find him one day. <laughs> so, when we least expect it. Yeah. Now we've got this. Um, hmm. I have no idea what's in here. I'm but the smell, oh my god. Oh, straight away though, there is actually some Pokemons, uh, not just all trainer cards, but yeah. yeah we've got Nidoran, Mr. Fuji. Oh, we've got the Bulbasaur. £20. <laughs> we've got Rattata, Jigglypuff, <laughs> um, Sw Switch, Go uh, Golbat, Grimar. Bo oh, another Bulbasaur. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm getting rich now. Coffin. <coughs> yep, Grimer. Grimer. What are these all? Um, the leaf Pokemon, ain't they? Yeah. Yeah. Like I've said, I think yeah. people didn't want them for some reason. We ended up with... Are these worth anything, do you Well, we've got Erica's um, Execute. Is that... A sticker that you've done? Well, no, no, no. These are the gym series uh, where it belongs to like certain gym leaders. So what pack would you have had to have bought to get them? I have no idea. I wouldn't know. And we've got Professor Oak's... Re Imposter Professor Oak Revenge. Yeah, um, we've got some good cards here. There is always a market. Pokemon cards, original. And then I think we're going into all the trainers and energies now. So, um... Well... <coughs> oh, oh, there's more. Yeah, there's, more. there's more, there's more. Oh, all trainers and energies. I've got so much energy at the moment. Yeah. yeah. So... It's like we just drank a can of Red Bull. <laughs> we're just full of energy. So um, that is a bit disappointing. I was expecting like a Charizard or something. Like, oh, God. Well, I think we've got these two at least. Yeah. They're my favourites so far. Anyone want to buy these? Trade or anything? <laughs> yeah. And um, so is that, that is a sticker on top. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Right, I, I bite my nails. I can't get it off. Wait. <laughs> we'll never know what it is. We'll never know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that would make someone's day, I think, in um, a third world country, maybe. 
Right, um, so let's get to some interesting stuff. Um, this bag, um, so I used to play the game when I was younger where we actually like uh, battled each other. No one really knew how to play, but I learned from Pokemon Trading Card the game on Game Boy. Okay. So these are the things that came in the decks. Whoa, uh, look at them. Oh, I remember these. Yeah, so first you used to get the damage counters, the blue and yellow ones. Mm -hmm. um, but then later on uh, in the fossil decks, and I think the jungle as well maybe, they changed it to these like, brown colour ones. Okay. And then they decided to stop doing these altogether and just gave you these, just little tens, which is a bit worthless. But we've got the... Metal Pikachu coin. Uh, these are a bit smaller, aren't they now? Um, I think. I think so. Yeah. So these are the coins that came with the decks. Uh, I think they came in the fossil ones. So, yeah. And uh, you've got the Pikachu coin. Wow. You got um, that's from the original base set, uh, the Chansey coin. And uh, we've got this thing, whatever it is. Uh, <laughs> we've got I, the Meowth. I think I know that one. And um, yeah, that's that. But um, so I remember um, I used to place these in my fish tank. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'll just put them at the bottom of my fish tank as like little Along stones. With, uh, that's probably where your dodgy is. Yeah, he probably is, ain't he? I haven't looked there. But, uh, so yeah, what else have we got? We've got. This as well is my old playing mat that we used to play the and game on. The source of this is. Uh, I have no idea how I got hold of this. I really can't remember. But it looks yeah, like look at it. It would have came with like a magazine or something. Probably, but yeah. Look, we've got the B drill. We've got the um, Jenga and um, that guy. Him. Oh, we've got the Raichu over there. But. Yeah, so you, your active Pokemon there, your bench, deck, discard pile, the prizes. Every time you kill a Pokemon, you pick a prize. Okay, so this is 1999 to 2000. So, um, yeah, nice. if you don't know how to play, there's the rules here. Oh, we've got a bit of a pubic hair on there. Ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> that's one we made earlier. Yeah, but, um, yeah, that's that. So... Oh, and I've got a few random cards here. Um, these are McDonald ones, I think. So, Whoa. I don't know what they are. They I only knew the be, original 150. Yeah. I don't know any of these new ones. Uh, but it's a good way to find out. Yeah, they feel really flimsy. So, and then we've got these ones. Um, I believe they're the movie cards, is it? Yeah, well, at least the first one is. Yeah, so we've got that. Oh, no. No, we are back to... What, McDonald cards? Yeah, for some reason you've got one movie card. Yeah. And the rest of the McDonald's. But yeah, these are um, hollows. It's probably worth a lot of money. Yeah, that is... We should get a PS2. No. Oh, well, I want that PS5. Any Finger TV subscribers watching, um, so yeah... Please donate us a PS5. I'd sell you all my cards, Andy's which body. is yeah, and my body only fans. Here I come. So what we've got next? Oh, I see some good stuff. I see some good stuff. That is. Um, I think you could actually buy a house. Oh, we got the shiny Hitmon Chan. He's like Jackie Chan's twin brother. Okay. And um, we've got Rocket Sneak Attack. Hmm. That's a um, shiny trainer. So why have you chose to put them in sleeves? There's got to be a reason. Don't know. Ask my 12-year-old self. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we've got Coffin. And we've got, what's this, how do you say it? Skamori. <laughs> I, I don't know what series these are from. Um... Because look, it's got like kind of a weird bit there. Have they got the... Yeah, they do. Yeah. Do you reckon these are fake? Mm, I don't know. So, uh, we've got Entai. That sounds like my favourite time of form. Um, Lass. Uh, that's a rare, I believe. I think I've got that. Mm. Um, probably haven't. Oh, we've got the interview. Oh, oh. £100 right there. Yeah. Come on. 
PS5, here we well, come. I suppose it depends on the condition. How would you grade uh, it? Uh, be an 8 at least. Yeah, cor- corner looks very battered. Scratch across it there. You can see a crease there. But um, yeah, we've got Mewtwo as well. Okay. Uh, it's not hollow. Um, that is an evolution card though, right? Uh, yeah, that's the re-release. It's not the original, I think. And then we've got um, a trainer card, uh, the Blastoise uh, Spirit Link. I think these are all from the evolutions. But you've got the energy. But they hollow. are all short. Uh, I was about to say shiny, but they are all hollows, weren't they? Yeah. That series. So you've got Rattata, um, Ghastly, Kakuna, Volpix. So, yeah. by the looks of it, you probably bought two booster packs for the um, evolution. Most likely. Probably for, like, nostalgic sake, but, yeah. So, okay. don't... So, uh, this is just a warm-up, I would say, for the uh, final oh. showdown, the finale. Oh. So, well, I haven't looked through this in about a couple of years, I believe. So, um... Vault X, so we're not sponsored, yeah. but yeah, I thought I'd just use that. We're open to but, it. Yeah, uh, um, so I think I filed these away a couple of years ago. These ain't as long as that tin, that tin I haven't opened for ages, but yeah. So if I recall correctly, there's few hollows in there, mm-hmm. N- nothing out of the ordinary, but yeah, um, don't know would it be enough to get us a PS5. Oh. <laughs> we got the Abras. Abra, 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 oh. Abra, Abra, Yeah, very... So, so uh, I'll, I'll probably be able rocket. to get, get, like, maybe 50 quid for the whole binder. I'm open to offers. As long as you don't scam us, then, yeah. And, yeah, we've got all the psychic ones. We've got a Sabrina Slowbro, so it's part of the gym series. Oh, we've got a shiny Gengar. Ooh. Oh, ooh. So, and we've got a first edition there. Um, what's it, Drowsy? Yeah. Yeah, so I think the Rocket's first edition's not worth nothing. You want the base set first editions. And then um, the Pikachu page wow. and the EVs. So, you've got. Um, that's I've the... never actually seen that card in my life. Yeah, well, that's the original Pikachu. We saw that earlier, but this one's um, base set two. And mm-hmm. you, as far as LT I know, Surge Pikachu. You don't have a Red Cheeks one, do you? No, so the Red Cheeks ones are the expensive ones, I believe, which were in the original base set. And yeah. When you say expensive, what are you thinking? Uh, PS5. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we've got the EVs and we've got Dark Vaporeon. And then... Ah, oh, two ca- two shinies, wow. Kangas Kong. <laughs> yeah, and then we've also got the non-shiny version. Oh, no one cares about him. Yeah, um, these they're in fairly good condition actually. They're, I can see a few scratches, but yeah, other than that, um, yeah, most people be content with that condition. I think I can get a Game Boy out of that. Hmm. And then we've got the three EV evolutions. And... We've got the dragon there. That's rare. Uh, that's also rare. Snorlax. Okay. And we've got the far fetched. That was the one that was on the sticker earlier. That I filled off. <laughs> okay. And we got the shiny Lapras. I, I, lo- I love the art to that. The t- tentacle is just touching the thing. So powerful. Ah, we've got Shiny Gyarados. Huh. And then we've got the Squirtles. £100 right there. Wow. Mm. Although they are base two. Yeah, you had to ruin it, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Oh, oh we've got the Wizards of the Coast Water tool. Look, it's got the little W there. So what do you think that means? I have no idea. Because it is still base yeah. two as well. Which and is... I really don't know how I got it as well. Did you Can notice, it possibly like... possibly be fake? I don't want to believe that, but... Because, look, the HP is slightly darker. Look, notice how um, they got brighter HP. Okay, so um, anyone who does watch this video, if you do know, please uh, let and us know in the comments. Is it worth a PS5? That is the question. Yeah. 
So now we've got more water types. And we've got the polywells and the polywag. I love my side up. <laughs> I love my side up. Yeah. And the uh, crabbies and the kingos. Wow. We've got. Ah, we've got the big daddy himself, Venusaur. So Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and then we've got the Venusaur. He's a uh, base set two, but. <laughs> Again, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> We've got the Weedles. <laughs> my favourite. Weedles, my man. <laughs> and then... we got... Wow. <laughs> 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 We've got a page full of ponies yeah, so you can, you can tell I was obsessed. That is some fish. <laughs> yeah, but... Do you know when you get some people who has that fish over like My Little Ponies and stuff like that? Mine's over My Little Ponies are... And we've got the Magmore. Magmore. Yeah, well, one thing about the Vulpix, you, you notice um, they all say HP 50, while all the other cards are 7 HP, then the number. Well, oh. it, hmm. it was a printing error. They later corrected it in the newer sets, but I think them ones are rarer, so if you get on with the HP the right way, it's actually worth right. PS5. Is that retail PS5? <laughs> <laughs> nah, second hand. Second hand. I'm scalpers. Yeah. Uh, we got um, the Kablutops. Um, he's a rare. We, I think you could get the shiny version as well, but unfortunately we don't have that. Um, that looks quite sick. Mm -hmm. uh, Amu star. I not want to mess with him. Mm he's -hmm. like uh, the tentacles and all that. We've got two first edition Machamps. How did you say it? Machomp. Machomp. Machamp. Machomp. Chomp. I mean, he is a Machamp. But so, so um, he's a chomp to most. So, people, this one here, he? look, look at all the recent stuff. Um, uh, you can my, see my eyesight's going okay, my you, old you, age. you can um, see all the creases and stuff. Oh, yeah, that yeah, one. So, um, I remember I kept that in my trousers pocket and then it went <laughs> into the wash. So, that's oh. why it's. Mm. Uh, and yeah and now we've got the Charmanders um, wow. rockets and, and Char oh we got the Charizard oh, oh look it's the Charizard first edition and Shadowless whatever that means you, Sha you Sha Shadowless Shadow so it doesn't have the shadow on the border and it's also a different shade of colours because I think the original Shadowless set was um, what, so slightly lighter than the original base set. So yeah, PS5 right there. PS5. Let's go. Yep, let's go. Who wants to trade us? PS5. I already listed it on eBay, right? Yeah. Now. Come on. Finger TV is getting that PS5. And um, so we got the Rhyhorns, the Onyx. Everyone loved Onyx. It was like yeah. the number one card that everyone wanted to get rid of. But yeah, we've all seen the um, grand prize now, so I don't think any of these matter. Oh, we've got the shiny Mux. Wow. Mux. And page full of primers. My dude. Right oh, I, I believe this one is... Yeah. It's a fake. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah. Like, it's got a <laughs> glossy finish. Yeah. So, uh, Why would anyone want to fake him out of him? No, no, so there's a story behind this. Um, you made it yourself. No, 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 no. I'm not that advanced. <laughs> My dad, um, he bought me um, a set of Pokemon cards when I was younger. And he's like, look, I got you all these. And then they were all fake, like this kind of feeling. Right. Um, but yeah, the whole uh, deck of them got stolen. And this is the only one I've got left now. Was so. he aware that they were fake? Mm, probably not. <laughs> or was it like he was hoping he, that yeah, he would clock on? No, I think he thought they were real. Oh, okay. But yeah, that brings back a lot of memories. It's my only fake card left out of the whole deck that got stolen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, um, they used to steal cards back in school, not so a good thing. Can you explain to the viewers that may not know when a trainer has their own card? Where did that come well, it's, from? It's just another series, just like the fossils, the jungles, and okay. it's the gym series. Yeah. So we've got all the uh, Zobats and the Audishes. 
Dark Loom. And then we got Magnetone Shiny. Mm -hmm. And we got the um, Base Set 2 Raichu and uh, Dark Raichu, which is a secret rare from the Team Rocket set. Because if you look in the corner, it says number 83 out of 82. Um, unfortunately, that's quite terrible condition. Like it's got a few creases on, so well, we probably might be able to get a PS3 out from it, but only pre-owned though, not a brand new or a uh, broken one that yeah. had the backwards compatibility. Yeah. Um, so we've got a shiny Venomoth. Could probably get a switch out of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, switch light if we're yeah. if we're desperate. And then we got. Um, that is yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. Interesting. Uh, um, I think we're past all the good cards now. Uh, but, yeah. Oh no 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 no. No no. Let's see some. Oh 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 oh! Here's the big boys. Two holographic Mewtwo's, and then we've got the Zapdos shiny, and non shiny version, and we've got the other two legendary birds, and we've got a base set Zapdos as well. Oh. Uh, uh, these are the movie cards. We've got Mewtwo, Dragonite. These were from first movie. Am I correct? I I'm certain that is from the VHS. No. Oh no, they say, say first movie on it. Did, this one. Did you have no, the VHS? No, 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 no. I, this one's not from the VHS. It's from the second movie, Pokemon Movie 2000. Oh. If you go to cinemas and watch it, uh, they gave everyone one of them. Right. Was that the only card from that movie? Yes, but the VHS, you had the three legendary birds instead, I believe. But I never got the VHS. And I have no idea how I actually got this card. I don't know where it's Could from. It possibly be fake. Um, most likely look it, but... just like everything um, if we don't know where it's from <laughs> it's fake <laughs> yeah okay. but yeah that's that and let's go to the main event the big daddy of the show like oh! <laughs> so, so we've seen this binder in a few YouTube videos and it seems that no one really looked after it and yeah. this one is in pretty as so um, I, I think old. I only got this later on. Like um, I had one of these originally, and it fell apart. Oh, where okay. I used to collect my cards, bring them to school, it just all teared all the way down there, and like the inside all broke. Oh, I gave you a sneak peek. But so um, were these also made? But the... yep, so Wizards of the Coast. Okay. Yeah. So Whereas um, the new ones are made by Ultra Pro. Yeah, so okay. this, I believe, it was given to me by a friend uh, later on when I stopped collecting, like, in second when I was in secondary school, okay. for Americans, is it the equivalent of high school. Yeah, so my f friend gave me these later because he stopped collecting and he was chucking all his cards out, and I was like, oh, I'll take them. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, have, I haven't actually looked inside here to see what's inside, but... Uh... I don't know why. I just have the feeling this is gonna. This is what's getting us our PS5. <laughs> like the good cards are in here. I know it. I think we could actually buy two. I think. Here, here, here you go. You anymore. got the shiny Alakazam, Blast Toys, Chansey, the Charizard. He looks a bit bad. He's been through better days, I think but your yeah. uh, shadowless one. Maybe you should take his place. Yeah, I, maybe I should swap them over, but he's um. Probably get about ten pounds for that. Yeah, and then we've got the Clefairy, um, Gyarados again, Hitmonchan again. I think we've seen a lot of these ones before. Mashamp, Magneton, Magneton. Now there's a story behind this one. This is my first ever shiny that I got out from um, a booster pack. Okay. So uh, we was um, out shopping. And I remember um, I had a fight with this little kid because that's what you do when you're a kid. You fight other kids. And he um, we was, was in we was in a clothes <laughs> yeah we was in a clothes shop. Uh, I was with my mum and dad, yeah. and this kid just came up to me, slapped me behind the head, and uh, I was crying my eyes out. So uh, my mum went and brought me a booster pack just to shut me up, and that is the card that came out of it. So yeah. I really treasure this card, and. Um, yeah, we've got the Nine Tails, which is from the base set deck. And then we've 
got uh, the Polyrath, Raichu, Venusaur. So Polyrath is one of the shiny holograms that I yeah. have uh, yeah. lost. And and then, um, is that all the shinies? I think it is, yeah. Wait, wait, hold on a second. I, I, f hold on. I think we might have a complete base set, guys. I think this is a complete base set of the original cards. That is going to be an Xbox Series X and yeah. PS5 right there. Yeah, number 102 out of 102. Achievement Look, Number 1 out of 102. Trophy. Three, number 4. Unlocked. Yep. We've got it, guys. This is a complete base set of all the base set cards. Oh, oh. PS5! <laughs> Where would you want to give up your childhood for a PS5? Guys, who wants to trade us a PS5? Brand new only. We're not taking no uh, pre-owned version. The box must be untouched. Unopened, I mean. Sealed. And, uh, yeah. If, if you're interested in a swap, hit us up. This has been so, Finger TV, and you have been watching. Yep. And uh, hopefully this is, does mark our return, and we'll be back for more future videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon.